Hey, welcome to your Aquarius love reading. This is a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Or check out your other signs in your chart if they resonate with you more. However, if you do like this, please do like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. It's free, it's fun, and it helps it get to the other Aquarius. So without further ado, let's get started. This top row is where you are now. Time is fluid in tarot, so it could be where you've been for quite a while, actually. Uh, this second row is what you don't see coming or what is going to be on the horizon here for this month, possibly going into next month, etc. And the bottom row is Spirit's advice to you. So let's see what we've got going on. And of course, we are going to get clarifiers from the love deck since it is a love reading. But let's get started. So we see here that we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. And that's letting me know that you have been feeling very, very tied up, very, very controlled. And now you're feeling free again. So with this, I feel like perhaps maybe you have come out of a bad relationship. Not necessarily even recently. It could be a long time ago. Um, but it was a relationship that was super controlling. Made you feel super bound up, super under thumb, super controlled. Uh, no freeness, no, you know, you weren't able to be yourself whatsoever. And now you're finally starting to accept or come to terms or feel like you are able to kind of be you, be yourself again, um, you know, be, live your life the way you want to again. So I do feel like, um, you know, you are kind of enjoying that. Now, whether that's with somebody or uh, as a single right now um, remains to be seen, but I do certainly feel like you do feel freer for sure, relationship-wise. Um, your next card is the Four of Cups in reverse. So um, typically that's a card where you're not trying to hear something, but I feel like in this regard, you have somebody that you are trying to hear, very much so. So um, this could be somebody new that's coming in, or this could be somebody that you've had your eye on for a while, um, but just now that you're free uh, or freed up, you know, you are trying to hear them. This could also be that you are just now coming out of a relationship. So you've been tied up uh, because you've not been single. Um, and now that you are single, you are, um, you know, able to hear new people. And this person is absolutely uh, giving you the vibe and you are absolutely thrilled to hear from them. So this could be somebody that you are very interested in hearing from, listening to. Uh, so if somebody has been uh, kind of in your ear and, you know, this is somebody that you are hearing, um, I do feel like, you know, if you haven't yet, you will be. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, but somebody is definitely going to catch your, catch your eye. Um, then we have the Page of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups is typically your immature, younger, um, not typically, you know, on your type of level, um, maturity wise or, you know, age wise or however you want to look at it wise. But in this regard with it being a reverse, you know, this is telling me that, you know, either those type of people are approaching you and you're just not interested in it or the person that is specifically approaching you is not this kind of person. Instead, they are much more serious, much more in line with your thinking, your mindset, your uh, maturity level, your age level, all of that kind of thing. So, um, you know, they, they lack immaturity. In fact, they are very mature. Um, so that may be the case that they are coming in with um, very little of the immature vibe. They're coming in with a very mature vibe. So that could possibly be it as well. Um, of course, we'll get clarifiers, as I mentioned before. So going forward, what you may not see coming or what is going to be coming in uh, later in the month, that kind of thing. Uh, we do have the Six of Wands. So there are opportunities coming in for you. Uh, could be different people coming in to um, bring news, you know, about things. It could be people coming in to be interested in you, or it could be you moving forward uh, with maybe this person that you are interested in up here, and you're moving forward with opportunities uh, to build your relationship. Uh, and, you know, maybe they're giving you an opportunity. Hey, why don't we do this or do that? You know, it could be something like you're actually going somewhere physically. They may uh, want you to go on like a weekend get away with them or do something fun with them, go somewhere with them, or it may be um, that they want you to do something even more serious. Uh, but the temperance card here is letting me know that with it being below that, 
four of cups in reverse is that you are kind of really weighing these options. You're really taking this into serious consideration. So, you know, if you look at the temperance card, they are pouring one cup into another. They're, you know, contemplative of the relationship, dipping a toe in the water, keeping one on land, you know, very contemplative, um, very thought driven with, you know, making decisions about this relationship. So I do feel like perhaps maybe they're approaching you with um, something that you really want to think over about moving forward. So, you know, you know, maybe they're asking you, hey, do you want to uh, be a roommate? Do you want to move in? Do you want to go somewhere on a vacation? Um, and you're kind of like, you know, I don't know if I want to do that quite yet, or maybe I do. Do I want to take that leap? Do I not? You know, do I want to jump into the water? Or do I not? Do I want to pour the cup completely out and call it a full relationship? Do I not? You know, maybe they're just asking you, do you want to move forward and be exclusive? Um, and you're debating whether you want to do that. But I do see that it is something where, um, you know, there's a movement forward type of situation and then you are really contemplative of what you want to do. However, this Knight of Cups is, um, you know, it's letting me know that, you know, you feel like you are ready to do that. This opportunity with this person, with this Knight of Cups person, which is, you know, again, I think this is kind of in a, a drastic comparison to the page of cups immaturity this is more of a mature um, opportunity a mature relationship option to move forward and I feel like that is what this person you're hearing up here or interested in up here is offering you I do feel like that is something where you are really contemplative of that and I think that is something that you are going to likely choose to do um, but I do think they are going to provide you a good opportunity to move forward with them. I don't think it's going to be something that is going to be lackluster or, you know, it's going to be some, you know, you know, shady opportunity or they're going to be, you know, insincere. It's an insincere opportunity. I think that they are meaningful when they make that opportunity. It's not just a, you know, very immature type of, hey, why don't we move in together? If they, if they ask something of that nature, they are very serious about it. If they ask you to go on a vacation, it's not just because they want to go party spring break style. It's because they want to get to know you better. These kinds of things, more mature level type of stuff. So what is Spirit's advice to you down here? And Spirit is um, giving us the hermit card here. So the hermit card here is saying that, you know, now you're free and now you have these opportunities, but, um, you know, the hermit is a very wise person, but you know, they're leading with their lantern. So while the hermit is a wise person, they are a very slow person. They do not necessarily jump to run out. They stay inside. Um, however, a lot of people say that the lantern does have, uh, the sun or the star in the, uh, in it. And either way, that's a positive thing. So, a lot of times they'll say, you know, you're leading ahead. The, the the hermit, when they do come out, they are coming out with a gross amount of knowledge and they are being led by um, a positive source. So I think with this saying that you're getting this opportunity um, when you make the decision or if you make the decision to move forward with it, um, you know, you need to really utilize, um, you know, all of your information um, and if you do lead in that way, you need to make sure that you're leading with um, what is important to you, what is going to make you star ability, what is going to make you feel like you're having sun success, whatever it is. So if this is what you feel like you want to do, if you do want to move forward with this person, you really do need to be using all of your uh, wise hermit energy to do that. Otherwise, you need to just stay inside, okay? You don't need to even bother. If this is not something that is going to really feel like it is right to you with all of your knowledge and it's going to get you, um, you know, to the star type feeling, the sun type feeling, don't do it. Um, the, the next card here, which is advice from spirit, is going to be the nine of cups in reverse. So again, I think this is just telling you, you know, if, is this going to be something that is going to upset you as far as your family? You know, how is this going to affect your family? So if you have, maybe you have kids, maybe you have uh, other people in your family that this person has, you know, some affiliation with, um, or there's a judgment there or something of that nature, you know, when you're making your decision, make sure you're taking that into account, okay? Because they could be upsetting something in your family, your family balance or your relationship balance, 
okay? So this could ultimately cause you to have your relationship be worse, okay? This opportunity, just know that. And I do feel like that that may be something that's happening here, is what's happening is this is a very, a very not, this is my intuition, okay? I feel like this is a very good person for you. I, this is how I feel, okay? I, this is how the cards are making me feel. I feel like this is a good person for you. But I feel like they're bringing out an opportunity for you or giving you an opportunity that you're really just not ready for, okay? And I feel like Spirit is telling you kind of, maybe this isn't where you need to be yet. Maybe you need to kind of just slow down, okay? Kind of stay in your hermit stage or phase a little bit more so. Pull back, rather. Um, you know, just be... Be more cognizant of what, um, you know, maybe think about your past where you were tied up uh, or, you know, in relationships that weren't so great or what have you. Um, and just kind of think about that before you jump into anything super serious that could affect your relationship negatively. So, you know, they say things like even taking vacations can make or break a relationship if they're, you know, if they're done too early or what have you. Uh, moving in together if it's done too early, make or break. Um, so... I think what it's saying here is this decision could possibly, you know, cause more harm than good at this stage. It could really damage more so than help at this stage. Do I think that it's a bad person? No, I think it's just not the right time for this opportunity that they're bringing in for you or making for you. Um, the sun card in reverse is another, um, another factor for me is that, you know, I feel like Spirit is saying that, you know, while you could be the center of attention and focus and fun in the sun and all of this great stuff and a successful moment, um, this is in reverse because, you know, if you take this opportunity, you know, you could be like left in the shadows, okay? You could be, it could end up being, you know, worse than you really expected it to be. Um, whereas if you really took your time, like the hermit always does, slow but sure, very contemplative, only comes out when it's absolutely, you know, their need to, for sure. They've done their, you know, <laughs> they they need to. Um, then, you know, then that's going to be more uh, advantageous for you. I think what their, you know, spirit's idea here is don't rush in. I think that's, that's what I feel from this. But we'll certainly get clarifiers from the love deck here, and maybe that will change the way we view some things. But that is kind of how I feel about it. I don't feel that the sun in reverse or the nine of cups in reverse is saying that this person is a bad person for you or a bad decision. I just feel like this person is what what it is is that, you know, spirit's telling you to get to know this person better. Stay in with this person a little bit more. Um, don't move forward so fast. Don't take them up on any offers to like, you know, move in, take trips, do whatever that's going to be super serious or stepping up levels too quickly, um, you know, kind of chill and get to know them before because otherwise it could be too much too fast and it could really sabotage the relationship. So let's see what we have here on this Eight of Swords in reverse. Express your love. Alrighty, so I feel like here this is something where you have been able to finally open up. You've been able to finally feel free enough that you are okay with expressing your love. You're no longer bound to a relationship that you don't enjoy um, or you're no longer bound up in a relationship that is um, super overwhelmingly um, restrictive or controlling. Uh, how about this four of cups in reverse? Healing family issues. So um, in this, you're hearing somebody. So again, this could be the person that you're hearing is the... Um, person that you're interested in or you know you may be hearing from somebody that you have um you know in your family that you know is trying to tell you uh, something that you needed to hear you know about things they may be telling you uh this could be somebody who's telling you stuff you know going forward about this person you know this may be somebody who introduces you to this person and they're a family a family member um you know or it may absolutely have nothing to do with this person it could be just that you had you know, you had a riff with someone in your family and you healed that issue and that made you feel even more, you know, uh, at peace, more, um, you know, you felt better. Maybe part of it was you were never allowed to be around your family in your last relationship because you were so restricted. Maybe it was such a, 
you know, controlled relationship. You couldn't even be around your friends and family. And now you're able to actually hear them and be around them. And that's healing your family. Um, and so that is helping you move forward. Uh, that's very likely too. So how about this page of cups in reverse? So you deserve love. And again, I do feel like this page of cups is something that is bringing in, um, you know, an opportunity of love. And I do feel like it's somebody who is not necessarily, uh, you know, an immature person. I feel like it's a mature person. And I feel like it's somebody that is not necessarily bad for you. I think it's a good person for you that you deserve. Um, it's just the situation maybe that is going to be a little bit um, questionable here or the speed at which the situation is trying to move. Uh, how about the six of wands? calling in your soulmate. So again, I feel like with this moving forward, I feel like this is their energy. And I feel like maybe they, this person could very well be your soulmate, but I feel like they're trying to move it in a soulmate speed direction um, quicker than you are ready to do that. You're over here deliberating whether or not you want to kind of make small baby steps at this point. And they're over here trying to, uh, you know, be soulmate status, uh, move off and have a, a family and a life and all this by next week kind of situation. <laughs> so I do feel like that maybe there's some different speed situation here going on that could, could affect things. Um, so that's part of why you're kind of like, okay, wait a minute, we need to get a good balance here between our cups. Um, you know, do I jump in or not with this person? Um, let's balance it out. Let's figure this out. So your temperance card, children, you know, and that may be what they're situation is here. They are wanting kids. Maybe they're older than you. Um, because like I said, I don't see them as being a younger person or an immature person. Uh, it's very much in reverse. So they may be older than you. They may be somebody who's like, they want kids immediately. And that's why they're at such a high rate of speed here. And you're kind of like, whoa, you know, hold on, you know, I've thought about having kids, but not like tomorrow. Um, and they're like, well, I was thinking about having them yesterday. So, you know, you're kind of like contemplative about this because it's a bit much. Um, Nine of Cups, deception. So, um, you know, again, I don't, I, I feel like that, you know, this is something where I think they're a mature person. I don't necessarily think they're a bad person. I think they're going to be, um, you know, I said, I think they're honest in their offer. Um honest to them in their offer. But I do think that they don't mind to um, try to make things go a little faster than maybe you want them to. Uh, they might want to try to corner you into a place, um, you know, where, again, especially if it's with children, I would just, you know, honestly, to be honest with you, be careful. You know, if, you know, if they might try to trick you into, you know, i getting into a position where you're going to have children, whether you want to or not, if you catch my drift, um, you know, because, and they don't mean anything mean by it because they, they really do want to have children with you. Uh, you know, they're, they're just not going about it in a fair or decent way for all intents and purposes, because, you know, it's not something where they want to do that and then leave you, or they're trying to get a paycheck or, you know, it's nothing in that kind of deceptive regard. Um, you know, they do, care about you very much. It is something they want a long-term relationship. I do see that. Um, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, they're trying to jump into one thing. And if you're not completely on board as quickly, they may pull some, some things. Okay. So be careful in that regard is all I would say, but I don't think they're a bad person. I just think that they have a different, um, aspect of time frame than you do completely. Um, and so down here we have spirits advice and the hermit free yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, again, I think the hermit here, like I said, with spirit saying, you know, don't, don't lock yourself into anything. You know, if, you know, you, you might want to just kind of chill inside with this person. And by inside, I mean, just like, you know, kind of like not jumping into like moving in with them or, you know, having kids with them or <laughs> getting married to them or whatever, um, chill with them as like, just like, a you know, we go to a movie together, we go shopping together, we're chilling on, um, you know, doing things together like that. Um, you know, get to know each other in a free and easy kind of way first. 
um, you know, with a hermit kind of personality where you're just learning um, and not really committed to anything uh, kind of situation because I think that's what Spirit's saying is that's going to be a, a better way for you. You can express your love and that's all fine and they may very well be your soulmate but that doesn't mean you have to jump into them because if they're going to be your soulmate they'll still be your soulmate next year or the year after or whatever's on your time frame too, right? Um, how about this Nine of Cups in reverse? So we have stay optimistic about your love life. Um, so again, I think that, you know, while this is moving at a pace that is not appealing to you, um, it may even be very scary to you. Um, I think Spirit is telling you, you know, stay optimistic about it. You can make it work if it's supposed to work. Um, because this person can slow down just the same as you could speed up. You can come to a... Uh, understanding there can be a meet in the middle kind of situation um, if you stay optimistic and you communicate and you um, you know everybody is you know very cooperative and um, you know if, if everybody will kind of work together but you know if it's something where this person is going to try to do deceptive things or try to do things that you know they know very good and well you would not be happy with to try to get you locked into a relationship with them. Um, you know, this is not what you want. So in that regard, I think Spirit's saying you may need to just drop them and stay optimistic about your love life with other people because this may just not be, you know, in that regard, this couldn't be your soulmate. It just couldn't be, okay? Because somebody would not do that to you. Um, so how about the sun in reverse? What do we have here? Alrighty, and that is make the effort. So again, I think that, you know, what it's saying is make the effort to stay, stay optimistic, make the effort with this person, okay? To move forward at a pace you're comfortable with, you solely, because, you know, they may very well think you are their soulmate, you know, you do deserve to be loved, this may very well be a nice person, but however, um, you know, make the effort, but if this, your effort and your speed is not good enough for them, don't let them trap you into things, don't let them force you into things, and do not feel bad about it. Walk away, okay? Take the sun, turn it upside down, and stay optimistic about having a chance with somebody else at a later time, because um, this, this would not be the person for you. So how about these last two cards? We're going to get two last cards for... Um, your advice cards and then we'll move on from there or we'll close it out for you uh your true tribe can't show up until you do so again healing family issues um i think this may be something where you weren't allowed to be around your family perhaps you might have been in a controlling relationship so perhaps you weren't allowed to be around family um, and now that you're listening to them um you know your tribe can help you you know deal with a lot of this and and you may may be able to deal with your tribe as well um, because again you know if this relationship isn't going to work out or isn't going to pan out for you you may need need this healing family up here you may need this um, they may be the ones to help you stay optimistic uh, if things go don't go the way you want them to um, and then your last uh, advice here is everything is a reflection hold up the energetic mirror what do you need in your life that you're not currently getting? So again, I think this is something where this is about you. What is it you need, okay? And if if they're trying to force you into something you don't feel like you want or need at this time, then this isn't the person for you. But if this is something where you feel like you kind of, you know, through temperance, you come around and you feel like you do want to make that, that adjustment, um, then that's fine as well. But that would be your call. From what I see for most of you, to be honest, in the collective, I do feel as though, um, you know, you're going to make an effort, but I do feel like you are going to fall a, a bit short of what this person's expectations are speed-wise. I feel like for some of you, they're just going to want much more, much faster than what you're willing to give. And I think for that reason, I do feel like you may end up stepping away from this relationship. But I don't think it's a relationship wasted. I do feel like you'll enjoy the relationship. I do feel like this is a nice person, someone that does care about you and you'll care about them. 
Um, so I wouldn't say that it's it's a terrible relationship or it was awful or it was something to avoid. But I do feel like, um, you know, I do feel like in the end for many of you, this will be a relationship that you just weren't able to meet their expectations. Um, and, you know, make you made effort, but they just wanted more faster than what you were willing to give or could give to make yourself happy. So anyway, I hope this did resonate with you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If it did not, please do check out the other signs in your chart. Otherwise, I hope to see you back this weekend for your weekend energy reading. Bye.